This video is a special Halloween edition for the Zodiac signs with a twist, with my own Halloween twist, what I've made. It's like a pick a card or a card spread or however you want to call it. Basically there's going to be three cards that I pick to guide and advise you and they each have a different theme. There's one called The Ghost, what is for your love life, because ghosting. There is one called The Witch, what is what you bring, can bring to your life at this present moment. And there's one called The Zombie, of the areas that you should be careful of. So I'm going to be picking three cards for you to help advise and guide you. Do let me know in the comment box if they link to anything, because it's always fabulous to hear. Do take what you like from this video and hopefully like I say it will advise and guide you for your life journey. Hi my fabulous cancers this reading is for you. So first of all we're going to start off with a ghost so this is going to be for your love life of what energies and stuff I get about your love life and I hope it advises and guides you. Let's see what we get. Let's get straight into it. We have got oh my goodness all the covers are going everywhere. We have got the Five of Pentacles. I support, I am supported and never alone. So I already know what the Five of Pentacles mean without even looking into the book because I still do look into the book just to double check. Five of Pentacles in a love life. Um, it's basically, it's not obviously about money. Uh, five of Pentacles can represent that you feel alone in yourself, more inside your head. Um, that you feel that you're, um, yeah, you just feel very alone. But remember, don't be stuck in your head, um, because even you maybe it might be a financial situation as well. But most of the time, it's something more in your head if it's time to do a love, because um, you are loved. Even if there is probably a loved person around you, or if there's not and you are on your own, don't feel lonely. Like there's always self-love as well and look at it in different situations don't get stuck in your head in a situation like this because you don't have to have to be with someone to be loved okay so I just want to put that out there for you so this is your witch so your witch is the energy that you're bringing at the moment Let's see what your witch has you have the eight of cups I set the situation all without resistance. Can't focus you. There you go. I set the situation without resistance. Eight of Cups. Um, the meaning of change of heart, moving on. Eight is a number of change. Uh, and it's different links to change in your life as a transformation from one place to a situation to another. You may have hit a wall knowing you cannot progress any further. So this is so the only option is to walk on. Overall this this eight signifies change that is needed and comes quietly without soul searching. This card is a message to accept the way things are have turned out and now it's the right time to make a move. So it sounds like your energy at the moment has felt a bit trapped maybe a little bit in the past and you need to take that energy from your past and put it into your present and then you can move forward. So it sounds like you're a bit still trapped. So you need to think, you need to use the energy of the trapment before so you can move forward. Um, yeah, so you can move forward and what has happened in the past has happened. So you can't change the past, you only can mould your present into your future basically. So let's see what you've got for your zombie, what is, what you need to be cautious of. My fabulous cancers, what do my fabulous cancers need to be cautious of? We have got... The tower. I surrender knowing how to go forward. Okay, the tower always scares people because it's a tower. 
But the tower is always a fabulous way to rebuild yourself. I just want to read from here a little bit. Um, the meaning, the towers often bring sudden change and unexpected to chaotic. This is time to surrender rather than fight the old situation and relationships. So it's still going on about your energy a little bit. On behalf, um, on belief that no longer can stand up. However, you can recover a construct, something better now, sorry. However, you can recover and construct something better. Now you've seen the truth. So maybe you've seen something differently, but you feel like you have to rebuild it slightly and do it slightly different. So what the outcome you're going to have is a lot better than what you've had before. So don't worry about that. A spiritual interpretation is card can press, um, card is personal breakthrough and enlightenment. So if you're spiritual minded, you could be feeling like you're a bit more spiritual awakened in that respect. Well, I hope this helped you, my fabulous cancers, and do let me know in the comment box if it did, because it's always fabulous to hear back to you. And happy Halloween, and see you guys soon.